Yeah, 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 yeah. So if y'all didn't know already, your boy loves to skate. We love to skate. G-Mac and T love to skate. One of the things I've been doing for a while is creating my own skates. So basically, take a pair of shoes. I like the shoes to be as flat as possible. It makes for the installation a lot easier and typically skates are very flat. So flatter the better, but it all depends on one, the shoe, two, your skill set, and three, what materials you're using to build the skates. For this go around, I've already actually created inserts. You got three major inserts, three, three main inserts, three main inserts. I would say probably your first bout of custom sneaker skates probably all had sheeting or wood inserts. So people would take wood, very thin wood, obviously trace an insole, and typically the shoe would need to be about a half size bigger just for a nice fit. Trace it, cut it, put it inside the shoe, glue down the insole. Obviously, you're gonna need to install your hardware, but so you've got wood sheathing, then you've got sheet metal. You can also trace insoles and cut sheet metal as your insole. Done it all three ways. My favorite, um, which is a little bit more task oriented, is fiberglass. So I've already made some fiberglass insoles for these here. I like them because they're strong. You see that look, very strong and flexible so they're comfortable. So fiberglass inserts is the way to go for me. Um, most comfortable if you like to really, you know what I'm saying, do your thing. So anyway, um, since I've already made the insoles, obviously I won't be showing you how to do that, but uh, there's plenty of videos out there on how to make fiberglass. It's very cheap to buy at Walmart or any automotive store. They typically sell it for auto body repair. So anyway, here's a couple of examples, which actually I'm gonna be selling because my daughter can't wear them anymore, but uh, here's a pair of chucks that I did for her. When it comes to the skate plates, I like plastic because they're lighter. The metal ones are nice, very sturdy, but they're heavy. And I like to float like a butterfly, sting like it, okay? So, uh, here's another pair of skates up for sale. Right here, you ain't never seen these, these Nikes. These one off, um, the red, the, the whole shebang, man. Um, I'm making myself my own custom GMAX skates not Nike or anything like that. So um, I'm getting rid of my old ones. I do have a pair of Jordan 11s that I'll never get rid of. If you wanted to see those, those are right here. These are my go-tos, um, the carbon fiber. As you can see that carbon fiber 11. These, these bad boys ain't no joke right here. Uh, High, high, high mileage. So, tell you what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to take out the shoelaces and the shoe, measure everything up. Gotta measure, man. You always measure two, three times before you start drilling or fastening anything that's supposed to be permanent. Eliminate mistakes. So now you can see what I've done is I've actually taken some white out here and marked the bottoms of the shoes. You can see they're both measured exactly in the same spot on each shoe because you want them to be consistent and symmetrical with each other. You don't want one too far to the left or too far to the right. Let that dry for a second. Once it dries, I'll go ahead Stick the insoles inside of the sneaker, drill my holes, and then get into the installation. I know you see it. So you can see I got this uh, already installed. 
just need to tighten it up now but, but yeah just got to snug everything down throw on the wheels and put the insoles in and we good we'll come back when it's all finito look at that that thing gonna be sick still had the last one to do which pretty self-explanatory you see i got my markings on the bottom drill those through got my fiberglass inserted inside as you can see let me see if I can get that in there you see that there in there you can see that here i hope i got that right but you can see that here man and roll it you know uh good man this is you know so don't be intimidated this is just something real quick and easy if you guys are super interested i can do a video on my next pair where i do the fiberglass mold and all that stuff if you're interested if not look go make yourself some cool skates stop playing hey look working out doesn't always have to be at the gym go skate shoot some hoop bmx you know what I'm saying? Until next time. G Mac. Out. G out.